Okay, listen, listen, we have to lock in our final decision about this inheritance. Well, Amanda did live with him. But it simply must be Diane. And I have no ulterior motive behind my choice. Whatsoever. If Diane gets this, Brian promises to romantically whisk me away in a shiny limo. He says that I will never have to dust again. And I can finally take my ballet classes. He thinks that uh, we should choose Diane because she's drunk and she's easy to control. He thinks that if we get her so intoxicated, eventually she will just sign over the fortune to him. Brian, he's so different from Lester. Lester would make me promises too, but he only wanted sex, not romance. Mm. So I refused. You know what they say, of what you cannot have, you want more of? Maybe that's why Lester kept me on staff for so long. <laughs> but Brian, he is so romantic and charming. Maybe when we are together, we will even have our own maid. <laughs> oh. <coughs> hey, are you dying? <coughs> Can I watch? Morning <coughs> sickness. Pregnant. <coughs> oh, eating for two. Mm, hunger. Mm, I'm so happy. Uh, get me swollen feet. <coughs> I'm Yaya. About this thing growing inside me. It was fate. See, all my friends started to get knocked up around the same time, but unlike them, I don't have a baby daddy. It happened when I was taking a nap at the bus stop. There was this ad with a, with a face of Jesus for a church. And well, after seeing on Jesus' face, I felt this warm ray of light on my belly. And bam! Immaculate conception. I hate kids. But if I get my rightful inheritance, I can hire a whole team of nannies with British accents. And I will kill to make sure this kid has everything in life that I didn't. And I won't abandon him the way Lester abandoned me. I promise. Okay, after careful deliberation, we've come to a conclusion that the recipient of Lester's fortune shall be Amanda. What the hell? You're supposed to choose Diane. I did, but they were so insistent. Oh. Well, Amanda, darling, I think we really need to know each other a bit. Uh. When I'm bigger than Gaga and Britney, I'll make sure to invite you all to my LA concert. And I thought I was gonna have to kill you all off. <laughs> Wait, you were the one that wrote the death threat notes? Doesn't matter anymore. What does matter is that you are now all on my property. <sighs> so get the F out. I always wanted to say that. Looked like my spell worked. Hope you like wearing wigs, bitch. Oh my god! Amanda? She's dead. Cool. If she's dead, then I should get the money. I have a baby to support. You're not pregnant. You're a hypochondriac. You aborted my baby! Oh crap, I have the flu! I told you she was a hypochondriac. Uh, shouldn't somebody be calling an ambulance? Okay, so tell us who the next in line is. It's Diane. Oh, 
Awesome, Diane. Congratulations. You didn't need financial advice. You don't even give me a call. Uh, no thanks, dude. What? I don't know how you let this happen. Oh, this is my fault. Inconceivable. Wait, wait, wait. I just wanted to, I just wanted to let you know that you were my first choice. Where are you headed? Back to my basement apartment to start packing for my move. Won't take long. I only got two boxes. Then what? Don't know. Guess I'll just give the money I don't need to people that do need it. That's so noble of you. Eh, share the love and all that. This is gonna be way awkward. Ah, uh, forget it. Say what you gotta say. I'm cool. Think maybe we can go grab a drink sometime? Yeah, sure. I like you back. By the way, I think we should get that drink, like, right now. Yeah. 